Oh, Governor Eric Holcomb signed two workforce development bills into law. Our State House Bureau Chief, uh, Bureau Chief David Williams was there, joins us now live to explain. And David, the governor uh, says this is going to help Hoosiers across the entire state. Immediately after he signed the bills, he said, this is how you get things done. Now, one of the bills creates a new 21-member workforce development cabinet. The other helps usher in a host of new training programs aimed at helping out of work Hoosiers sharpen their skills. A struggle just to make ends meet. Brian Wilson was thrown into one of the toughest 10 months of his life after he lost his job in 2016. There was some apprehension. Uh, number one, based on age, I don't feel like I'm 56 years old and I don't see it until I look in the mirror. He clawed his way through, scraping by on hope and prayer while caring for his then nine-year-old son. And just having to be honest and explain that we can't always go to McDonald's. And when I go shopping, I go shopping for the purpose of us having food so that we're not eating through a window or I just didn't have the money. Fast forward to today and the signing of the bills meant to help people who find themselves in that position. A better alignment of our funding, funding and our training dollars um, to get money directly into the hands of employers. Employee Indy says, for example, someone who's unemployed or looking for a new job could get computer coding training then be eligible to apply for a higher skilled job. It's all about people and we're focused on how do we skill up people from from early in life um, and when they get that ticket to their success in their hand when they graduate from high school and then if they go on for two years or four years uh, into training or directly into a career high demand careers that have worker shortages are something the bills also address Cummins has some of those open careers but we are seeing a shortage of technical workers particularly diesel technicians and we're also seeing a workforce that's beginning to age. And so there's, as baby boomers retire, we're not seeing that same pipeline of workers coming back in to fill those, fill those jobs. Now Wilson teaches training at Employee Indy. The same place that helped him is where he is helping others. Be patient. Uh, give yourself a break. So one of the governor's spokespeople told me today that bill that creates the new cabinet takes effect today. The other bill that lays the groundwork for those programs you heard about, that takes effect July 1st. I'm David Williams, live in the newsroom tonight, 24-hour news 8.